Do you want a clear step-by-step -step roadmap to tackle the gold market this week? In this video, I'm going to cover everything. I'm going to share my simple trading plan, including my support and resistance levels, entry and exit zones, and profit targets. But here's the thing about the gold market. This market can flip on you at any time, so make sure you stay with me throughout this entire video so that way you can learn how to navigate some of these pitfalls that gold is known to throw around. So let's go ahead and get into the video. And as usual, we are going to start on the weekly time frame. So this past week, there were a couple of news events that really pushed gold up higher. Yesterday, I was trying to get a trade, but I missed it. And I was trying to get the pullback, but it just did not pull back enough. Didn't trigger my order and it just took off. You know, with gold, it's just the way it is. So on this weekly chart, let's just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So that way we can focus on this area in here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off this top level right here. And I'm going to make this really slim. This is going to be around 26.65. And we may refine this a little bit more as we go down to lower time frames. The other area I'm going to mark off is about 24, let's just say 85. And if you notice with this particular level right here, what I'm doing is I'm focusing more so on trying to get the zone close to the body. And this is mainly because uh, if we look at this area right here, we do have a wick, a wick, a wick. And pretty much I'm just looking for the average. I wanted to get it close to the body, but because we have these wicks and then that's price information there in this situation on the weekly time frame, I'm putting it right here. And then I'm also going to draw another level. Let's just say this is at 24.15, but since we're on the weekly time frame, we are going to make adjustments on the lower time frames. Okay, so now let's go down to the daily time frame. Okay. So if we zoom in on price right here, we can see that we do have some sort of area up here where price formed a resistance. So only thing I'm going to do is take this level that I drew on the weekly and just move it up a little bit just so that way it's touching the top of these two candles, the body. And for right now, that looks good to me. So I'm also going to draw a, another zone here at 2605. Now I remember this zone because throughout this week I was really looking at this area and just trying to see what price was going to do. I didn't have enough information to take a trade, but um, it's a very interesting area as you can see because uh, price bounced off. So anyway, we'll talk more about that later, but I just get really excited about these charts. The other zone I'm going to draw is going to be here around 25, let's just say 50. And I'm going to draw that like that. This zone is looking good. So let's just go ahead and adjust this slightly, mainly so that way we have the support here and these rejections. And then we also have rejections throughout here. And this is sitting at 24, roughly 82, 80. So that looks good. And then this zone is a little bit interesting, mainly because we have these rejection wicks right here. And then we also have some supports down here. So this is a little bit tricky, but for right now, I am going to draw a support around 23.59 and probably not going to put anything lower than this because it would take a lot of volume to push it down here in one week. Okay, let's go down to the H4 time frame. Okay, once again. All right, so if we're looking at this level again, this is the very top. So I'm just gonna push this level up once again because we have this resistance level right here and we have price touching this area. Let me scoot this over. We have price touching this area at 2605 perfectly. So I love that level. And then this zone right here at 2550, I'm going to actually make this zone a little bit smaller. All right, and I'm going to push this up. I'm going to push it up to, so now it's sitting at 25, 55, 56, close enough. And then we also have this zone down here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to move this zone. Okay, yeah, I actually like this zone. I'm going to make this zone a little bit slimmer. 
And then I've also moved this level to, what is this? This is 24, let's just say 70, 72. And mainly because we have these resistances all throughout here. Yeah, we do have some candles that overhang, but that's okay because that happened months and months ago. We really want to focus on things that are happening in closer to present day, basically. So all this stuff over here. And then over here, this was a little bit of a choppy zone, but this is actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to leave this here. And this is at 24, let's just say 20 or 2418 roughly. And then we have this zone right here at 2358. And am I going to make, yeah, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, just a little bit slimmer, just so that way it's cleaner on my chart. And then I'm actually going to push it up so that way it's closer to the body of these candles. We still have these wicks. We have this zone right here. It still looks good to me. Let me see how, let me see if I like that. Okay, so this is 2360. Let me see if I push it down or pull it down rather to the bottom of the wicks. And then I'm just going to go over to the left just to kind of see if things line up. I mean, that looks fine, but I think I'm just going to put it back to where it was. Okay, there we go. So... Yeah, so this is at 23, let's just say 60. So we're going to leave that like that. So let's go down to H2. And we have this, this top area of this price action for this chart. So this is actually looking really good. This is still looking good. This is looking great. Now let me just scoot over to the left just to see how things are looking. Still looks good. And then this stuff right here. I'm just kind of analyzing it and just making sure that there are n like no crazy price action, like pretty much zigzagging above or below these lines. I'm trying to make sure that everything is lined up. So this is looking good. However, I want to see how it looks if I push this up here and I actually like this a lot better. So I'm going to explain why. So here we have rejections and resistance, rejections and resistance, rejections and resistance right here. And then over here, we do have support. Now we do have this area right here that was somewhat of a fake out. If you were looking at this as a support level and it broke at that time when this was playing out, but this is actually looking good to me right now. And then if we go to this other level, I think I want to make this a little bit slimmer. I got to find the line. So make this zone a bit slimmer. And it's, it's looking good to me, mainly because we have support. We have rejections. We have somewhat of a support in here, resistance. And then we also have rejections right here. So that's looking good. And this, now this is looking a little messy. So I'm actually going to bring this down to, what is this, 23.55. So now it's looking good to me. So cool. So now let's go down to H1 time. I'm actually going to pull this top level all the way up. And now this is sitting roughly 26.85. So this is looking great. This is still looking great. How would this look if I pull it all the way down here? You know, I'm actually liking this a little bit better. So I'm liking this better because we have this big candle and we have this bullish candle right next to it forming a support. And then if we look left, we kind of have a support in the zone already. So this is now sitting at 2547, really close to 2550. All right, cool. So now let's zoom all the way over or <laughs> scoot this in and move over and just look at this level. This is still looking good. This was that fake out that we saw. And okay, great. So let me scoot this in some more. So that way I could see more of the price action. Okay, and I'm just kind of like eyeballing this and just making sure that everything looks good. We did all the hard work on the higher time frames. Right now we're just lining things up and just making sure that it makes sense to us. And that's all I'm doing. So now that we have our zones drawn, now we're going to come up with a game plan for this upcoming week. And of course, like every week, unemployment is something that is on everybody's mind. Uh, this past week, um, unemployment numbers were somewhat surprising and then it did push gold up. So up in here, there was really no trade in here, at least for me in the way that I trade. But um, if we see some sort of pullback for this upcoming week based on the data releases or any news that come out, 
then there could be opportunities. And that also reminds me of something that I posted in our community this past week. So I was talking about how gold was choppy and basically I was looking for trades during this time. Actually, it turns out I was looking for a trade yesterday as well on Thursday, but we had these events that popped up throughout the week and these come out roughly every single month for CPI, PPI, and then unemployment is every single week. So, oh, and then the FOMC minutes as well. So anyway, so it was all these different factors that made gold do what it did this past week. So basically what I'm looking for is I was looking for a price to come back to around 2630. And that was a trade that I was trying to take last night, but it just didn't work out. So it just is what it is. But basically I would be looking for um, a level within here. And if you look, you see a rejection, rejection, and then you do have some consolidation here, but then price did break and then tapped into this level right here. I do want to mark off this level right here at 2661, mainly because this is a resistance that was formed right before the market closed. And if price does go up above here, then I definitely want to take some buys and I would be looking for a buy up in this zone right here at 2684, 85 kind of zone. And then the other place that I would be looking for a potential trade would be, let me mark this up, would be about here. So this would be at roughly 26, 39, 40 kind of area. And this is what I was looking for, but it didn't come back to this area. So of course, if price was to retrace quite a bit <laughs> and then push up then i would be looking for continued buys like i would look for entry here and then up here would be kind of like a tp1 depending on how the or take profit one depending on how the market forms up and then continuing up to here basically taking some position off and then writing it up here and then the other thing that i would be looking for is let's just say if price did a much 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 deeper retracement from here and then came back down to 2606 kind of zone and then i would be looking not for the sell although that could be something for a shorter term trade but i would be looking for the buy from this area to up here as well. Generally, if we're looking at this market, you could say that anything below this 2605, 2606 area could be sales, and you would absolutely be right, mainly because this is essentially major market structure, considered major market structure right here. And once this breaks, it doesn't necessarily mean that the price is going to continue to go down forever. It just means that it may go down for a little bit and then continue buys. So, um, so one idea could be a temporary short from here to here. Now, obviously, this is a really big zone, but with enough volume, it's definitely possible because I've seen single candlesticks be 500 pips. So this is 586 pips. So that's quite a bit. But of course, for me, since I'm mostly bullish on the gold market and uh, there's a lot of things that we need to take into consideration between now and the election and then of course after the election and then into the end of the year a lot of things could happen so just saying all that to say i am mostly bullish but just waiting for my opportunities inside of the market and here is another buying opportunity for sure for me at 25 48 25 50. so just trying to keep this as simple as possible this is my analysis for the week and of course if you found this helpful in any way go ahead and let me know in the comment section because if you find it helpful i'll continue to do these videos and if not then i won't do them but let me know if they're helpful for sure. And if you want to get more support, ask questions anytime and get help with your trading, go ahead and join Profitable Traders Academy. You can find it at ProfitableTradersAcademy.com and we'll see you there.